In this video, we'll take you along on our visit to the gorgeous towns of Lynmouth and Linton along the Exmoor coast in North Devon, England. This area is affectionately referred to as Little Switzerland because of its gorgeous mountainous terrain. Linton is the town up here on the top of the hill, and Lynmouth is the town at the bottom of the hill by the sea at the mouth of the Lynn River. We stayed at two different hotels during our several days in Linton. I will be showing you around each of those hotels. The two towns are connected with a most interesting cliff railway. Be sure to stay tuned for the footage of the railway in action later in this video. Here is a peek at some of the things I spotted in Linton, the charming little Victorian town on the cliff top. This restaurant in Linton made me laugh because it's called Cracker Barrel which for Americans, especially those who have taken road trips through the Southern United States, is a very familiar restaurant chain, found along the interstate highways. They are known for their rocking chairs on the front porches, creamy chicken and dumplings, along with Southern sides like fried okra, and always hot cornbread and biscuits on the table. However, this Cracker Barrel in Linton is touting award-winning Cornish pasties, a fact I find fascinating since it is located in Devon, the county that according to some sources is the place where pasties were invented. No matter, I did my own pasty quest in Cornwall and I cordially invite you to check out that video if you missed it. I have to note that this Cracker Barrel also claimed to serve award-winning ice cream. And I just gotta say there must be a lot of awards because I swear every place I saw serving pasties or ice cream in the West Country bragged that theirs were award-winning. I had to snap a photo of this darling little Fiat with the lovely paint job and this classic old Morgan car I also spotted in town. The first hotel we stayed in was Northwalk House, perfectly located near the entrance to the Southwest Coast Path hiking trail. We had a delightful hike there, which involved meeting some mountain goats. So I hope you watch for that in my next travel vlog video. Here is a quick tour of our room in Northwalk House. This is our room in the Northwalk House and it's a lovely place, but the very best part is the view out of the windows. This is the view out of one of our windows. And on a clear day, you can see Wales. And I mean the country, not the animal. And the view out of this window is lovely as well. We can see the hills and the trees of Exmoor. The second hotel we stayed in, with a somewhat similar name, was North Cliff Hotel. We liked this hotel a lot also. Here is a tour of our room there. So here is our room at North Cliff Hotel. And the bed has an interesting headboard. But of course, the best thing about the room is there's two windows and they both have views of the sea. So here's our sea view out this window. You can see that it's low tide. And here's our sea view out of this window. And the one interesting character filled aspect of this room is this light. The bedside light flashes a myriad of rainbow colors. So I guess we're meant to be having a dance party tonight in here. While I show you the lovely magenta flowers I spied in the breakfast area and on the balcony, I'd like to give you a little plug for a video I have coming up in a week or so with the working title, Battle of the English Breakfasts, in which I will review several full English breakfasts I had at hotels in Devon and Somerset. Be sure not to miss that fun video. There is the village of Lynmouth with the Tide Inn. So now we are going to venture down the cliff and have a wander around Lynmouth. To get there, we will take the Cliffside Railway. The fun thing about this hotel is that it is right next to the funicular railway tracks. We can just come out and hop onto a tram to get down the hill. 
As I mute the noisy sound of the tram, I will share a few fun facts about the railway. The Linton and Linmouth Cliff Railway is currently closed, but when we filmed this back in September, it was still running. The railway first opened in 1890, and according to its website, it is the highest and steepest totally water-powered railway in the world. It's also the UK's only fully water-powered railway. And there are only three of them left in the world, so it really is a very historic attraction. The station where you board the tram at the top is located 500 feet above the lower station. The one thing to keep in mind about the railway is that it stops taking passengers back up the hill around 4 or 5 p.m. So you are taking a risk if you go into Linmouth for dinner. You might find yourself unable to get a taxi back up to your hotel in the evening, like we did, in which case you must walk the very steep path back up the hill. This activity makes you really appreciate how lovely it is to ride the railway. The sign in Linmouth says Linton and Linmouth, so I guess they really are very connected entities. We found Linmouth to be another charming fishing port, like others we visited in Cornwall and South Devon. I especially loved this lookout tower at the harbor and seeing all the blue and white fishing boats, even though they were sitting in mud at low tide at the point I took this picture. I think these baskets are for catching lobsters, but you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I always enjoy hearing from people who know more than me, which happens frequently. Here is a little panoramic view of the town from the end of the pier. You can see the hills behind it and the many hotels and homes perched above with wonderful sea views. You can also see the water's edge at low tide and the line of pubs, shops, and restaurants in town, including the place where we had our fish and chips dinner. And you can also see the railway running a tram back up the hillside. Here is the warning sign next to where we purchased our dinner. Warning of the greedy and aggressive seagulls in the area. But we took our chances and ordered takeaway fish and chips from the Esplanade Fish Bar. You'll have to watch our video called Fish and Chips and All the Dips to see whether Ian was able to safely eat his dinner without any attacks or food theft. Here is a peek at some of the trinkets on offer in the shops of Linmouth. Souvenirs like fairy doors or fridge magnets with puffins on them. Things that I would have bought were I not an aspiring minimalist. And I would have enjoyed having a Rudda's cream tea here if I'd had another afternoon to spend in town. And here are the boats of Linmouth Harbor at high tide. Unfortunately, Linmouth is also famous for a devastating disaster that happened in August of 1952. When nine inches of torrential rain fell in one night and caused the culvert to become blocked with flood debris and the river flooded the town. 100 buildings were destroyed, 420 people became homeless, and 34 lost their lives. The St. John the Baptist Church was built in early English style in 1870 and thankfully survived the 1952 flood. It has a memorial inside to the people who died in the disaster. It also has an unusual bell turret on the exterior as you can see here. And when I found this beautiful little door, which I assume is a devil's door, I had to snap a photo of it as well. This drone footage shows the beauty of the Lynn Valley area and prompts me to remind you of the lovely video we published last week of Watersmeet, a National Trust location we visited here in the valley. I hope you check it out. Thanks for watching our adventures. Please subscribe if you haven't already and do something good in the world today.